And while we wait for more detailed information about the Omicron variant, what do we know about it? And are the vaccines putting up a good fight? My colleague Leslie Marin got some answers from the executive director of UCI Health Health Centers. Well, the, the Omicron variant symptoms are pretty similar to the ones that we're already familiar with. Now, the scary thing that people hear is all these mutations it has. More mutations doesn't mean it's a badder virus or it's going to cause us more issues. We're going to learn more about that as time goes on. Now, the good thing is that the cases that were reported earlier this week here in the United States were amongst people who were fully vaccinated. They had mild disease, mild symptoms, and are actually doing pretty well. If that holds true against this variant and the others, our vaccines do a great job of protecting us from serious disease and hospitalizations. And there's still a lot we don't know when it comes to the Omicron variant. What are your main concerns with this new variant? Well, I have concerns with the Delta variant first and foremost, because that is still the most dominant one here. And we already know what it could cause. We also know what it what we could do to protect ourselves from it. Now, as it pertains to the Omicron and the Delta variant, the things that I would be concerned about is how quickly it spreads and how severe the illness could be. Now, again, if if it holds true that the vaccines will protect us from this as severe conditions, then hopefully the mRNA vaccines and the boosters people are getting will make a huge difference. We've seen more severe cases with the Delta variant, but how much more contagious is the Omicron variant? Well, currently the preliminary data is showing it's at least as infectious as Delta, but there's also some concern that it could be even more infectious. Now, again, infectiousness doesn't necessarily mean more severe case of the virus. It's not confuse the two. But at the end of the day, what's the virus's sole purpose? To get into a host, i.e. us as people, and replicate. So if you happen to have defenses ready to combat it, the odds of that happening, pretty low. And we're seeing cases continue to rise as we get into our winter months. A lot of doctors still worried about the Delta variant. Can you talk about uh, just the rising cases we're seeing and why the Delta variant is still very, very much a concern for doctors and hospitals? Well, we have to remember what this virus is. It's a winter virus. The coronavirus family, which COVID-19 is a part of, is a winter virus. So it is more prominent during this time and we're naturally gonna be indoors if we're not fully protected, if we don't have great ventilation, the odds of spreading this is really high. Now, if you take a look across the country and those states that are getting colder, their cases are rising, but a lot of factors come into play. It also depends on how well vaccinated the community is and how prominent the virus is spreading within those communities.